Hi, Christy from KB Shimmer here. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite Easter activities, water marbling Easter eggs. Here you can see some of the examples of water marbled Easter eggs I've done in the past. I'm going to start out by showing you what you need to water marble Easter eggs. You're going to need a glass with distilled water brought to room temperature, your favorite KB Shimmer nail polishes, painter's tape, a skewer, and I use the fake decorating Easter eggs instead of using real ones. To start, I'm going to take my Easter egg and going to put painter's tape on it. This not only allows it to be used as a stand, then I can water marble both sides of the Easter eggs like I've done here with one side and then another. Okay, I'm going to start the water marble for our Easter egg by moving pretty quickly and doing drops of polish. This is Let's Not Coral. Then, Sure Thing. Sky Jinx. And the last color I'll be using is Radiant Orchid. And I'm going to do three or four sets of rings. So going back to Let's Not Coral. Sure thing. Sky Jinx one more time. Radiant Orchid. And you do want the surface of the water to be pretty color covered with polish because Easter eggs definitely have more surface area than your nails. And last year I actually tried this using real eggs too. And it does work, but you definitely don't want to eat the Easter eggs afterwards. So I was sad having to throw the eggs away that were so beautiful, so this year I decided to use the fake eggs. Um, here I'm completing my last set of rings. That'll give me four sets. And now what I want to do is I'm actually going to start in the center and I'm going to pull out each way. The reason I do this is because if I come into the center and I get too much polish in the center and it looks muddied. And then I'm going to just go to the edge and I'm going to go back and forth. And if the polish on the outside is kind of firm like that, then just go in a little bit. I'm just moving back and forth from each end. Kind of drag my pattern. Then I'm going to go the other way. Do the same thing. And once you have that all done, you're just going to take your egg. Can you see how I've got the tape on there? I've got half of it taped so when I go back and it's all dry, I can peel it off and do the other side. So I'm just going to take the egg and I use this as a holder and I'm going to press it down right in the center gently. I'm going to do it in one smooth motion just until I get past the painter's tape. Then I'm going to blow on the water and this hardens up the polish 
so you can scrape away the excess. And the reason you want to do that is when you pull the egg out, if there's excess polish left on the water, it'll go back onto your pattern. So now I've pulled the egg out, and if you can see, you've got a nice pretty pattern on there. And it just goes right to the edge of my tape, a little bit over, so then, like I said, after this is dry, you can peel off the tape and do the other side. And then this, the painter's tape, works nice just to set it and let it dry. That's it.